Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to share something with you guys real quick. Uh, for those of you who may already know, right now is the uh, Sabbath of Beltane. It's one of the pagan Wiccan holiday Sabbaths. And I had made a tutorial to do a Beltane anointing oil. So go ahead and check out that video. But I wanted to show you this for you guys real quick. A quick recipe to do a Beltane wine. You can do this same day or you can have it soak overnight like I did. Um, and this is what I, this is what it looks like right now. I just made mine last night and it has a really nice color and it's very simple to use. Um, excuse me, very simple to make. <laughs> uh, essentially, all I did was I got a bottle of white wine. I personally prefer white wine, but you can use whatever wine you want. And I used fruit and edible flowers, most important, food grade edible flowers that I personally really like that also has the spirit and the energy of Beltane and exactly what the Sabbath and the holiday is for and ties in with the celebration. So the two ingredients I put in here, simple, easy. I put in hibiscus flowers. I love hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus flowers are great for love. They're great for lust, seduction, very beautiful red flowers. You can use any red flower for this type of recipe. I had hibiscus flowers on me and I like them because they're very much more grounded, very deeper in its energy and connection, much more of a soulful kind of beauty and attraction as opposed to surface level. And then for my fruit, there's so many different fruits you can use in regards to uh, Beltane, um, like apples and strawberries. But what I chose, which may not be the first one to think of, but it's great, is um, if you cannot tell, there are pears in here. Pears, especially in ancient Greece, pears were very, very famous for their love properties, for their lust properties when it came to magic and it's also delicious. <laughs> uh, and essentially what I did was I put my intentions into the wine as well as for those exact intentions for the hibiscus flowers and for the pears, chopped them up, put them in, and this is what it looks like soaking overnight. Now, if you can add extra stuff to it if you want and you don't have to soak it overnight if you have to make this last minute I would say soak it in the wine uh, I personally had to pour a little bit out from the bottle in order to have it soak in overnight and have room in the bottle but what you can do if last minute and you do it is you can essentially put everything into the wine and you can have it soak even 20 to 30 minutes Right away when I did this, the hibiscus flowers in particularly, like maybe within the next, the first five minutes, it was already starting to turn the wine that beautiful uh, red color that we're seeing. And this is very simple and easy. I'm going to be sharing this with my sister tonight and we're going to really enjoy the Sabbath and I hope you do as well. And let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos of food magic and kitchen magic. And yeah, that's all I want to say. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to like this video, make a comment and let me know if there's, if there's anything in particular you would like to see very similar videos to that. And I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.